Today on Pots and Trials we're in Dennis's Strawberry Patch and that's brought to you with the support of Cobra Garden and Dalak. Hello and welcome to Pots and Trials. Well today I'm in Dennis's garden. Dennis is doing a bit of snipping, hedge cutting, and I'm doing a bit of tidying up in his strawberry bed here. And this is the perfect time to do it because we've now picked all the strawberries. We've had a good season here for strawberries. It was really dry when the fruits were ripening, so we got none of that horrible mould on them that we sometimes get. And after you've picked all the fruits, the plants can start to look just a little bit tatty uh, and tired and sorry for themselves. So it's time to give them a, a good tidy up and just to promote some new growth. And that's the same whether you're growing them in the garden like this or if you're growing them in pots, hanging baskets, any form of container. It's time to give them a bit of a rest. Now what we're going to do, it's very simple, I'm just basically going to cut all of this growth down to what we call the crown. That's where the, the plant grows from ground level and then uh, feed them and they'll produce some new growth. You'll also notice if you've got strawberries in your garden, this time of the year they start to produce runners and runners is the strawberry's natural way of producing more plants and it produces little miniature plants on these stems in the wild where these touch the ground, they root, you can see the roots just there starting to grow. As soon as they touch a bit of moist soil or compost they'll root and within a couple of weeks you can detach that and you've got a new plant. So we would normally cut those off because they take quite a lot of energy out of the plant and we want all the energy to go into the plant to produce even more strawberries next year. But if you want to produce a new plant or a few new plants save a few of those and all you do is very simply is get a little plant pot or a tray. If it's in the garden I sometimes bury them and I'm just going to push that so it's in contact with the moist soil and then I've just got a piece of wire but you could use a, a paper clip or something similar a few stems just to hold that in position and it's as simple as that and all I'm going to do if it's got any stalk on the end there just trim that off we don't need that little piece and then keep that moist and that will root within a couple of weeks and then we cut the main stem here and we've got our new strawberry plant and away we go. So it's really easy to produce more plants. The secret is of course only produce runners off healthy plants. If they're not good healthy plants buy some new ones. So then what I'm going to do is cut everything down. So again if this is the one in a pot you can use your secateurs and it's just a case of gathering up the foliage like this and just really give it a good haircut. It really is simple. Making sure of course that we don't cut the runner that I've just pegged down because otherwise it's not going to grow. So it is just cutting off the foliage. Any dead leaves we can pick those out. These can all go in the compost bin. So it's just a tidy round like that. Runners and everything off. So very very simple to do. Uh, and we can see that already that looks so much better for tidying it up. If you've got them going in the garden we're going to do exactly the same and you can use either your secateurs or if you want to if you've got a lot you could just get a pair of shears and just go along trimming them down like that and work your way along the row. So I'm just going to spend a little bit of time clipping these down and then I'll show you what we do next. we also want to do is just to pull out any dead bits from the centre of the plant. This is what we call the crown here. So this is where all the new growth will come from. These, these plants in here are two years old. Uh, this row is three years and this is a one year old row here. So what will happen is in Dennis's garden the three year plants will go and then some new ones will be planted to form a new row. But we want to get rid of all that dead, stop it rotting. And then it's just a case of raking all the leaves and the straw that we used as a mulch and we can get rid of all of that from across here 
and that can then go into the compost bin any bits you miss just make sure you give them a, a good snip down like that just to tidy the whole thing up So there we go, cleared all the old leaves and the runners that we don't want off, uh, raked the straw off and then what I'm going to do is just give them a bit of a feed, again it's a bit of a boost just to get them growing. So I'm just using grow more but you could use blood fish and bone or poultry pellets. Ideally you don't want too high nitrogen because we want the plants to develop strength but we don't want too much lush growth and I'm just sprinkling a little bit of this on the soil around the plants like that so it's about a handful per square meter so you can see the density and then it's always good with fertilizer to actually work it into the surface so that it's in contact so you can just rake it in or just lightly fork that in so that when it does dissolve it's where it needs to be so just spend a little time just raking that over getting it into contact and then the final thing even though there is a little bit of moisture in this because we've had the odd shower it's still fairly dry so give them a good soaking because we want that fertilizer to dissolve and we want the roots to have moisture so I'm going to give each plant quite a good soaking as you can see there so that it's going to dissolve that and very soon from these crowns that we've cut down that will get a flush of new foliage healthy strong plants and then of course we can look forward to tasty strawberries next season so i've done a quarter three quarters to do and then i can stop for the day Well, thank you for watching Pots and Trials. And remember, you can find everything that we've done over the last couple of years on YouTube and Facebook. Next time, we're going to be back in the veg plot doing a few jobs and catching up. But for now, I'm going to enjoy a freshly pulled carrot to nibble on. See you soon. Bye.